I will just get more light on my face. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how was your review for previous notes? Yeah, uh, it was good. I have a question for you. You know, mm -hmm. when you're having uh, laying down the client and you're doing the marma points, um, when you're when you do the one that is in in the bat, how how do you do that transition? Because uh, I I did it like uh, I was practicing with my husband, uh, and I was like because he was really relaxed, right? And then like I needed to do the point <laughs> behind and. Uh, I didn't not want it to disturb him, but so how do you do the, that transition? And that's that's why I removed that one. Okay. No, no, like the bat, the bat one. Oh, no, no. The, yeah, the bat one. But that you don't need to move him because it is accessible, right? If he is lying down. Yeah. It is accessible without disturbing him. So I I know, but like uh, it, let's say. Okay, so you can just put your hand and touch it. Yeah, uh, but, but, but you don't need to even go under it because it is on the side. Okay. No, no, no under, like on the side, but- Oh, you mean the knee? Like, remember- Under, like, the, like, under the knee, you said- under, here yeah. And so that in, here? yeah, so this place can be done. The one under the knee, you can have him start by just having folded knee. Okay. So then you don't need to disturb him. You can have a pillow. You can have a pillow so that he, so that his his feet uh, his legs are rested, but then you don't need to ask him anything because he will be having folded folded legs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he will be lying down. So mm -hmm. all you need to go is go under and do like this. Okay. Then you don't need to even move him or anything. Okay. Okay. I just, I felt, sh you know, like I, I thought to myself, if we, if it wasn't my husband, like, would I feel comfortable touching there? You know, like, I don't know. No, was... but that, then in that case, you can leave that part. The only yeah. thing is there is a benefit, but this point here and the under are, uh -huh. are, are having similar effects. Okay. So if you feel uncomfortable touching because the person is really get disturbed or you don't feel like touching there, you can leave that point. Okay. And you can do two times here. Okay. Two times where? Just this point here. I, I'm not. Elbow. I, I, elbow. I, elbow. I, I, just, okay. Here. Yes. Okay. Elbow. Elbow. Okay. This, this point. Okay. And then. Okay. Yeah. And then what? No, no. Uh, and were you able to practice the other Vata, Pitta, Kapha, Marma protocol? I only did uh, the Pitta one uh, because my husband has been extremely sick. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, remember I told you last time uh, he had diverticulitis. Oh, diverticulitis, yes. Diverticulitis and he was on and off from the hospital mm. and it was very stressful because um, they cannot like usually how they resolve the thing is they cut the part of the colon that is being affected right but it's in the entire colon oh. so, and um and is it that bad yeah he's uh he's not he's taking five antibiotics now and he wasn't eating at all and i was worrisome because I'm scared that if they touch the column, many people die from it, right? Because it's very important that part. So I was really, really stressed out. Like you cannot imagine. But have they suggested uh, to remove the whole thing? No, uh, they they wanted to operate, but they cannot because he has it through the whole column. The problem is that because the packets are already there, any 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 small piece. Um, can get in the in the packet and get infected. So it's been like, even now he until now he's only eating potato. I was trying to give him chicken soup, which is, I mean that's what he eats, and just the liquid and also bone marrow liquid. And he's not able to. He is feeling nauseous, so I'm kind of still stressed, but. What about squashes or uh, sweet potato? 
I, he, they say that he's not allowed anything to eat anything with, with the fiber because that makes more agitated the column. When there is fiber, it has to work more, right? So everything like bread, white bread and like potato and things like that, that they don't have fiber, he's able because it doesn't have to work through it. But uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very hectic. I, I, I almost, I had to call Anita because I had, uh, uh, because so much stress, I had a um, heart, uh, it was not palpitation, but it was like more like pain. So I asked her if I could take, um, what is it called, the herb? Um, oh, Arjuna. And when I'm taking Arjuna now, because I was very stressed and I don't know this, it doesn't seem very like big to people, but to me it is because he's my only family. So, well, my, my husband, so, yeah. No, it could be stressful. I can understand that, definitely. It could be stressful. I personally feel that you could introduce some of these like sweet potatoes, but if they are completely mashed and then strained, okay. no, uh, sweet potatoes, squashes, if you give them in the soup form, but completely strained and the fiber is removed already, so only liquid part comes out mm -hmm. and then he just drinks it. So uh, he says his intestines not need to work with it. Okay. Because fiber is removed. So you right. can you can have fine strainer mm -hmm. so that it everything stays back and only liquid part comes out. Then okay. you will have some variety. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can have sweet potatoes same way. And then if he eats, say if he feels he eats slow and he feels something, then he can chew it. Basically, the thing is that fiber doesn't need to go as it is. If it is finely chewed yeah. and when it goes down the throat, it is already completely liquid, then, mm -hmm. then colon doesn't need to work on fiber because it's, it's very small piece. Right. Yes. Fiber, is, fiber is problem when it mm -hmm. is bigger pieces and you, don't, you swallow, you don't chew it. Right. Okay. So yeah. I... I feel, I feel that you have different options. The only thing we have to make sure that it goes very fine down the throat. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about eggs? Did they say anything about eggs? In the internet, it says yes. Uh, and they say yes, but he's not feeling yet to it because he follows a lot his body. And like even with the liquid of chicken or that stuff uh, to give him a strength because he lost so much weight. Um, but he said, no, I, 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 I don't feel it. And so on. And what I about think, what about uh, what about digestive lassi? I mean, you have the problem of sinuses and everything because in Ayurveda, the digestive lassi without any spices or much, uh, if he, he drinks, it, it heals the gut. What is it? Digestive one? Ah, the, the one that you gave me? Yes. I could suggest that to him, but they for they 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 forbid to take anything milky because they said if not the antibiotic, it won't work. I don't know why. Because I wanted him to take a little bit of yogurt, you know, like but they say no. And so I'm I'm giving just aloe vera, a little bit of aloe vera with the you know warm water but and i i bought i'm doing you know when people don't eat in very poor countries that they prepare something with sugar and salt and it's something oh yes yes yeah yeah for hydration oh, for yeah. hydration i'm trying to do that as well but uh, it's not easy because it's like every other year it repeats these kind of things and i'm i'm just i had it you know like yeah, it could be tough. It could be tough. I mean, you are dealing with your own things and then you have to deal with this thing. Yeah. Uh, it could be tough. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's giving me like, I don't know. I, I try to meditate as much as I can, but uh, I don't know. I hope it's nothing bad with my heart because like my, my, my stress went to the peak. And uh, I'm trying to take it easy because there's nothing I can do. 
on well there's nothing even well if one one thing you can do you know this uh, pitta uh, marma oil mm -hmm. uh, and pitta, uh -huh. pitta marma oil uh, on the abdomen you just put, uh, just apply it no no pressure nothing just like that yeah okay. just just like that two or three times during the day okay it's just like that two or three times during the day it will first of all pitta oil so it will reduce the inflammation he doesn't need to take anything inside yeah it's only from outside and mm -hmm. it's your healing energy and with the marma oil and pitta reducing so it will not do any harm if anything it will only do good yes yeah i i i, I will do that and i also have been doing reiki to him which it help i i think it was weird. Uh, I'll share something with you. Um, yesterday we were healing. Uh, we were hearing about healing energy. You know, there was a video and I his tummy was gargling. You know, his intestine. And then I start talking to. <laughs> I'm shy to say it, but uh, the intestine was making noises. And then I start talking to it, and it stopped. It was mm. so much. You know. Uh, how how energy and how words can yeah be. yeah yeah i think you can do that so the same thing but with pitta marma oil mm -hmm. and that will help thank you dr gupta mm -hmm. I'll, I'll i'll write that down <clears throat> okay and yeah. what about what about turmeric liquid turmeric liquid um so basically just soak turmeric in water yeah and yeah. And, and then after that strain it mm -hmm. and all he drinks is that just the liquid little by little i could do that too yeah but isn't the turmeric a little bit heating like i know it's for the inflammation but isn't it a bit isn't yeah it with, bit with water heat? that for, with water this a small quantity would not hurt okay Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Sure. Welcome. Okay. So now, uh, yeah, at another point, uh, uh, I will record those vata pitta kapha marma things and give you access through the YouTube. Okay. I'm planning to do that, but at another point, not right now. Uh -huh. Okay. So that you can review them also. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, what we are going to do now is the uh, uh, face massage. Mm -hmm. Following to that, it will be head massage, neck massage, neck and shoulder together, mm -hmm. and then it will be body massage. Face massage, neck massage. Uh... Face massage, face massage, head massage, neck massage, and shoulder massage. Okay. Uh, I uh, do. I don't have those photocopies, uh, right? Which ones? No. In the beginning, when I gave you notes, uh -huh. then I did give you, but not the steps. Okay. I did not give details, but mm -hmm. the, there was enough for uh, for things. So this is what we will talk. And uh, at some point, uh, uh, Kamini, my wife, she will actually. Uh, she will uh, show you doing here on me. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let me go and check with her if she's available and when she's available, then I can talk and then she can come and show it to me. Okay. So she is willing to do it right now. So she will show it on me. Uh -huh. So we will do the details later on. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? So I can say The light is there. Okay. 
Um, sorry, can I see a little bit of the camera? Because I don't see the hands. I uh, Sorry, thank you. This is the oil. And then, so this is the oil application. Okay. okay. And then you are putting. Five times each. Five times with this end and five times with this end. Okay? And then you finish and then you're coming on the forehead here. Mm -hmm. Five times.
So after this, the sinuses we did, then we have to do the nose like this. I forgot that this five times each, okay? And then this uh, eyebrow, and then around the eyes, reverse, and then on the eyeball, and then we do. You don't do any pressure here, no? It's just no. touching, right? Okay. And every time you do the massage is five times five. each? Okay. Oh, very <laughs> relaxing. I saw you sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I will do is I will uh, stop the recording here. Can I stop the recording now? <laughs>